rigs. I'll just show you my setup while it's out of the water, and here it is. So here today I'm fishing with, let's say, the anti-tangle tubing. I've got like a helicopter rig that rotates in the water on the cast, and some braided hook link to the size eight hook wide gate fishing with some luncheon meat, it's a uh, sweet corn flavoured, dyed in the sweet corn juice which I have uh, used in the past uh, on a hair rig, uh, so you say the anti-tangle tube in the uh, helicopter bomb and I'm fishing out about, about four or five rounds uh, the key cast in the same area, so uh, let's continue. Cart weighed in just over two pounds, and uh, I did change my bait from the luncheon meat. And here's the uh, here's the pellet I uh, I caught that fish on. So here they are. I'm using these F1 sweeteners, eight mil, oh, soft hookers. Here they are. And so you can hair rig or straight onto the oak. As I say, I'm hair rigging at the moment. And they do, there's a very high leakage in the water, so they like, do dissolve and it gives the flavourings out, which, which attracts the fish. So uh, I'm just going to uh, re rig and put uh, another fresh fresh pellet on and uh, cast out the same area. Oh, looks like I'm on again. So Matt's in again. <laughs> How's this one feel? Same as last time. Quite sure, yeah, it's got a bit of a pull on it. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah. That's what we like to see. This one. We have a feeling it's the same fish <laughs> from before. Very, may well be. But it's nice. Uh, yeah, beautiful. As you can see, so it is a cruise in again. And uh, yeah, they seem to be working the uh, the pellets. So uh, I'm just going to put some fresh bait on. We'll, uh, we'll get it back out. Aye, yeah, very good, sir. As I was saying, the bite alarms used today the NGT VX2s as you can see I'm a bobbin and my reel my reel today is a Shakespeare runner reel and it's on the NGT carp stalker rod 8 foot which is great for this uh, this type of fishing Yeah, let's continue. Right, 
Right, so I'm just going to take the opportunity to talk through my rig. So I've got um, a braided leader on my line, and then I was going to a leg clip system. Very simple setup. Um, I've got my lead clip, which is 30 gram. So that will take it down to the bottom and uh, it will help with hooking fish um, because it's a resistance against um, against, against them basically. Then I've made this, this rig. Now I've done a long one. Um, mainly because when I, when we were fishing barbel before I did a bit of research on it and apparently a long rig helps um, because sometimes they get a bit spooked by the actual lead weight itself so I'm using a longer rig what I've done I've put a bit of anti-tangle here so what that does it keeps it away from the lead weight and it, it stops it from um, snagging against it and then at this end what I've got if I can grab it my fingers are cold um, so what I've done I've got a size 10 um, quarter hook uh, which is a wide gape hook um, and then I've got a bit of a bit of tube in here um, again so it doesn't tangle up against itself on the line and and then I've got a bait screw and then a, and then a boilie as well um, this has worked for me before in the past um, but uh, just give it a go today and uh, see how we get on with it um, but yeah Double up this time, got two on the hair, two pellets, and uh, cast these babies out. Hi, and we're back. Just uh, just had one last cast out, and uh, we're just gonna hope and you know, hope and pray we get one more catch. But um, this afternoon, it's been really quiet. This morning, plenty of bites. We had uh, two cruising carts earlier, but. This afternoon, a few bites, but the weather I tell one bit, it's been really strong winds. The temperature is really low, and uh, we've had rain on and off. It was meant to be a bit milder, but you know, so uh, yeah, it's been hard work. We've tried all sorts of different, different techniques, different, different, different areas, and yeah, it's been, it's been really tough. Um, so yeah, we are going to return, but, um, but now today, like I say, two lovely cruising carts in the net, but uh, still got half an hour left, still going to hope to so, you know, continue on and uh, let's see if we can back some more. But, uh, I know the rigs today I've been using, very happy with those, the Corda rigs, the wide gate, which I, uh, I said I was going to test out on one of the previous videos, and I've uh, definitely going to order some more, some more rigs of those, so, so yeah, very happy. on now for the last uh, last 20 minutes half an hour 20 minutes and uh, let's hope we, uh, we catch one more hello that concludes today uh, return visit to Louis Elliott's fishery first time this year that we've been uh, been back there and today weather wise conditions it were disappointing for us we weren't expecting it to be as cold as it was we've had rain we've had blustery winds and it it made the fishing really really hard and uh yeah what do you think Dave? it weren't yeah i mean i don't think we've fished and it was that bad uh for a while to be fair mm. um i mean the rain it wasn't heavy it was like drizzly the kind of 
get everything wet kind of rain. We're warmer in November when we went. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. We're warmer then. Um, the wind, it was so cold. Um, and the weather forecast, because I know what some of you are thinking, oh, you should look to the weather forecast. <laughs> but the weather forecast said it was going to be quite mild. Mm. You know, highs of, what, like 9, 10 degrees. Mm. And... Uh, no, it wasn't <laughs> at all. People trying to get the brollies out, yeah. even some on bank myself, and mm. just blow it away. I nearly, I nearly went up. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah we, ne that. we nearly packed on early yeah. uh, because of it, but we stuck at it. Um, Matt had a couple of beautiful little cruising carps, uh, which absolutely spot on. They're always a pleasure to get anyway. Um, yeah. they're, they're a nice little fish. Um, well, I say little. I mean, the one you caught was quite oh, two big. Pound. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, ones, the second one we didn't weigh, did we? The first one was over two. Mm, mm. But uh, yeah, for a cruising, it's not bad. Mm. Yeah, they don't, they don't, cruisers don't go to a, a average, you know, normal size like like a common or a mirror, no leather, etc. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the beautiful fish. Yeah, mm. there's plenty in there. Mm. But Lewis Elliott's has always been a really good place to fish anyway. Yeah. Uh, whether you're fishing silver, whether you're fishing for carp, you know, it's it's a good all-round fishing venue. If you like your match fishing as well, they have matches there as well. You can take part in, yeah. you know, anybody's welcome. Even as cells have been invited to a match. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to follow that one up as well. So. Yeah, at some point. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so, I mean... Today, uh, we thought that we were going to do a lot better, but to be honest, I don't think it was any fault of our own. Um, I mean, I kind of messed up a little bit with my positioning of where I've put my rigs, I think. I think that was that played a factor on why I didn't catch up. Um, but I mean, you know, I tried a couple of different rigs, um, tried a couple of different rods, tried different weights of different baits yeah i changed my lead on me uh you know to get more distance yeah like this and that you know but uh yeah just changed my baits twice today i was on the pellet and then i changed to the lunching meat mm. but caught twice on the uh, on the pellet mm. and just feeding micro pellets into that area mm. time by time and it, yeah that paid off but mm. then it went quiet yeah but mm. uh, like we said i mean it doesn't sound like a good excuse but it was really cold <laughs> um and when it's cold it, it does not help the fishing situation yeah. anyway you're lucky if you catch really in them conditions it's not yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i mean we're it's april 1st now and we were hoping start warming up now and then we can you know mm. the fish start showing more when the weather's different you can't you know you can try everything you can be at you can mm. be you can be an expert in fishing and you can start just start fishing you can go together and still mm. still not produce so it's just the way it goes yeah. absolutely absolutely um but with that being said uh we have got a amazing summer lined up mm -hmm. um for you all so we are going to do videos on all of our fishing venues that we go to uh all of our fishing trips you know we're going to have an awesome summer we've been learning and learning and learning and learning and we we think that we're getting better and this year we have a feeling that we're going to be smashing some pbs we're going to be catching a good variety of fish and we're going to have fun doing it because i'm venturing out different ways now because mainly growing up just did float fishing and mm. just the ordinary course now i'm going getting more into carp like I say, more sea fishing, is, we're going to be trying that as well. Mm. All different types, even, you know, the um, feeder fishing. Yeah, yeah. You name it, yeah, we're exploring out different things. We're going to be a lot more different venues. And, yeah, it's going to be great, yeah. It'll, it'll be brilliant. The summertime as well, when the weather picks up. Mm. Yeah, it's be, be endless. Definitely. Um, so, please keep doing what you're doing and being awesome by liking and subscribing to the channel, um, sharing the videos as well, um, giving us some tips and pointers, um, suggesting places to go, 
just keep being awesome because it helps us out. Um, yeah, you can like we've mentioned before. Yeah. Let us know, you know, if any venues we're not aware of and you fished them, let us know. Absolutely, and it doesn't we can recommend them. Yeah. We'll go there. We'll do another flog, and we'll yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be in Lincolnshire either. So yeah, we're um, venturing out further as well, aren't we? The, the, yeah. The, yeah, Westwood Lakes again, as we mentioned, further afield, Boston Way, yeah. Sheffield, and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. So thanks again and catch us again for more catch.